Bentley's Continental GT3R is one of those cars that defies logic. It will accelerate to 60 miles an hour in just 3.3 seconds and cover the standing quarter mile in 11.6 seconds. In other words, this Bentley is about as quick in a straight line as the Corvette Z06, even though it has 78 horsepower less and weighs 1,392 pounds more. There's no magic at work here though, just clever engineering. The GT3R's 4-litre twin-turbo V8 has an overboost function that delivers 592 horsepower for a maximum of 15 seconds. And shorter gearing ensures Jackrabbit starts. Unlike other Bentley Continental Coupes, which are capable of close to 200 miles an hour, the GT3R tops out at just 170. Thanks to good steering, an all-wheel drive system with strong rear torque bias and torque vectoring by braking, the GT3R has impressed us on the road with its unexpected speed and agility. But size and weight have always worked against the big Bentleys here at Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca and the GT3R is still big and still heavy. some roll even in the sport mode. The understeer is reduced with the tire pressures set back down. I've got some pedal travel, got some entry understeer, got some everything understeer. Ooh, that 4-5 shift is kind of rough. It likes going downhill. The Bentley will rotate on the downhills. Oh, hits the limiter on the shift to fifth gear. Big brakes, but big weight. Whoosh. Come on, honey. Come on, honey. Get down to that apex. <laughs> She's a big girl, I gotta say. Excellent performance for an enormous car. <laughs> the Bentley, it's just not at home on the racetrack. It's a big luxury car, powerful, enormous brakes, but still overwhelmed by its weight. Predominant handling characteristic is understeer. The transmission shifts beautifully. I love it, just snaps them off, up and down in the sport mode. Worked great. Engine is fantastic, has a broad, immediate torque curve, no sense of turbo lag. The brakes are terrifically powerful, but they're overwhelmed by Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca. By the second lap, the pedal was getting longer, and I was starting to pray to the heavens that the car would stop, and it did. But whenever the brake pedal gets a little longer, I start worrying that the next time I get to a corner, it may, might not make it. And this is a lot of car to put in the gravel trap here at Laguna Seca. But predominant understeer all the way through the corner. It actually was a little better on the, a little less understeer, under power exiting, quite a bit on the entry, trying to get the car to aim to the apex. So a beautiful, wonderful luxury car that's not at home on the racetrack. Doesn't belong on the racetrack.